There we go. What's going on, everybody? Lead Farmer 73 here. I got to make sure I'm, this thing is even working. There we go. How y'all doing today? It's good to see you. Let me make sure. It's always one, right? It's always one. So I'm going to start this off today by just putting my link in the chat right out the gate. And I know y'all going to hear me kind of stuffy. You know, it's allergy season. Spring is here in the South. And I'm just letting you know that, yeah, I'm going to sound real jacked up for a second. Okay. So I'm going to keep putting my link in the chat. So everybody can come in and if you wanted to come in and if you were part of the survival slumber party, practice your preps. Uh, I'm giving you a chance to come in here and say your piece. So I want to say hello to uh, in the garden with KD. How you doing? So good. Gardener, Miss Native Cherokee, Q Dub J. Uh, let me see. Oh, I was about to say Lev Farmer 73. Oh, but that's me. Uh, who else we got? Homesteader, Rachel, Peter. Where did we go? There you go. Peter, Jessica Smith. I like your name, Peter. It's just Peter. I like that. Angela Locke, how you doing today? Dave Busby, Natasha Newsom, Little Green Patch 98, Royal Me. Dave Busby, Peter, Smile Smiles. How you doing, present? Good to see everybody in here today. Uh, EJX, how you doing? Broke farmer in the house. What's up, bro? Come to win Cindy's World, Miss Hawk 222. What's going on, Trevor Benjamin, Regina Green? Uh, I can't, I don't, it's a name in here that I don't know what language that is. But I'm gonna say hi and say hi yeah, LF in chat. I don't know you that name or that language. But hello, how you doing? Okay, ex the experience with Sassy. How you doing, Trevor Benjamin? What's going on? Happy Mac in the house, Princess Pamela's world, LT Crochet Dynasty, Butterfly Effect 86. Say, hey, Uncle Lay and Greenhouse Lounge family. Jamila Gallon, how you doing? Uh Moody, what does that mean? Uh, that's your name, Smoody. I can kind of see it in the why you got it, why you got it done like that? Because I can't, I can't make that out. If that's if that's the name, that's hard, that's hard to see, my friend, but okay. Uh, Teresa, I feel. How you doing? Homestead, homestead in the hood. I was I was looking for you, and I know you. Uh, Lady Led just told me because I went back to find you and I start watching your videos. I saw you had got you a new tent and everything. So I hate that you couldn't be with us this time. Uh, Byron Holmes, Marmar, Adina Collins. So good garden. What's up, my brother? Broke farmer, he say. Smooth, moody, a lady. That's hard to figure out, my friend. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I promise you that is hard to figure out. To just sit and try to figure that out. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Uh, Gina Siska, Shalom from under... The Dome, how you doing? Uh, Love from Maryland, J, uh, Q Dub J, Sandra Thompson, Grace Gines in the house. Hi, Lead Farmer 73 and Lady Led. Hello, everyone in the chat. Lady Led is handling some business right now. I really wanted her to be in this with me because we have a wonderful announcement. Of course, the beekeeping class starts, I think she said this, this coming Tuesday or something like that, Thursday or something. And we already, already started the next survival slumber party. 
it's going to be C Captain Caveman Kemp. We are going to be, I'm, I'm announcing this right off the gate, so this video don't go too long without, without me announcing it. We're going to be doing this video. I mean, we're going to be doing the next survival camp, practice your preps. With no electricity, we're going to be on the primitive side of Myrtle Beach where all there is is a water spout. There's no electrical hookups. There's none of the fancy gadgets that we have to just plug into and everything. So I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to run down. I got a list that I forgot is in the house. And Lady Led, if you're watching me, I got a list on that tablet in my seat at the kitchen. If you can bring that to me, if you're watching, if you're watching. Um, because I wanted to ask you guys some questions. So, yeah, there, there is a restroom fairly close by, but you better have your bucket. And as everybody saw with uh, this one, even you still needed your own bucket because the bathrooms are like, by the time you make it to the bathroom, like I told you before, it's too late. Okay, so let me get in here. Uh, Gina Siska got that one, got that one. Let me see where we at. Uh, Sheila Fullmore says, good evening, Leah. Hope you guys had fun last weekend. We wish we could have been there. I wish you could have been too. Fifi's Journey, Everyday Life with OCD Chick. How you doing? Uh, Marmar said, not going to stay long, have school tonight, no worries. Happy Mac, bring your own bucket. Yes, BYOB, bring your own bucket. You're going to need that. You're going to need it on all level. And everybody that attended the camp understood what I meant when I said it before. You're going to need you're gonna need that bucket. Now, you ain't here to impress nobody. You're going you're gonna to have to get down, on, you know, let me see. Eman, how you doing today? EVW, bravo to the brave. What's going on? Let me see. Uh, Mickey Steen said, ooh, in my neighborhood. I'm not quite sure what that means. If you're talking about Myrtle Beach, we'll be there in September. We already started it. So right now, you can go on easily. Look in the description box. If you look in the description box, you'll see easilygrowngarden.com slash products to start signing up right now for September. I, I'm going to let you know they're going to go fast. If you're trying to get on the primitive side with us, there are only so many lots there. And I'm trying, this is what I want to do this time. I never do this. I never do this, but I'm going to do it this time. Help me shut this park down. Can you do that? I want to shut this park down. I want to take this whole area of the park. I'm trying to do everything I can do to shut this park. Thank you, Happy Matt. I want to shut this park down. Okay, uh, infinite life conversation. I'm new here. How do I get up to speed? I don't even understand what that means, my friend. What do you mean get up to speed? What do you mean by get up to speed? Uh, PK, I'm going to have you Google that, okay? I'm going to have you Google that one. Let me see. Miss V, if I had the money, I would buy out the bar. I mean, I would literally buy out the whole park. But what I want to do this time, I what we were able to do, we took and turned this whole block of Myrtle Beach State Park and turned it into our own personal neighborhood. So once you turn down this one corner, you only seen Greenhouse Lounge members. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. All you seen was us doing our thing. Everybody representing. It was it was beautiful. So what I want to do is I want to take this this time and I want to all 
of us because it was a it was a few people that wasn't with the greenhouse lounge sprinkled in but they still joined us they were still kicking it with us but i want the whole greenhouse lounge to shut this part of the park down that's what that's what i'm hoping for okay um there we go so there was a lot of stuff that that went on during this uh excursion and i want to get down into it but i'm not going to tell it all myself i'm going to say one thing though um let me put this back in i'm gonna put my link back in the chat again but i do want to say this i did not go live okay uh let me see misplay oh it says the connection is not private what are you what are you what are you referring to the connection is not private What do you mean by this? Um, okay. Okay, I can't I can't spend too much time on that one. See, I would need to see how things go here. How you doing, Miss Native Cherokee? Let me see. Queen B says, when I was a child, my aunt and uncle had a motorhome and started a motorhome club, and we would travel. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Let me see what we got. How you doing, uh, Cotham Creations? How you doing? How you doing? You learn with Robert. What's going on, my friend? I just put my link back in the chat just in case we got anybody from the Greenhouse Lounge that was there. Now, I do want to say this. There will be a lot of people that won't come because they don't have a YouTube channel per se. Uh, okay. Mia Play says the link to sign up or get products. It's going to say that um, you may have to either get off of your smart device and get on a real computer and do it because that's what problem we always have. Usually people try to use their smart device and it's going to say um, this website not notif not uh, legit or something or something like that. So you might want to try something else, but it is my real website i'm so i'm telling you right now okay so that that way you don't you don't feel it's a scam we sell all our t-shirts and everything on that channel i mean on that website how you doing heather how you doing say patiently waiting for your video to drop okay i haven't had time to i recorded a lot and it's going to take a long time to splice that stuff together because we were having so much fun. I just didn't walk around with the camera attached to my head and everything all day, all night. I just, I just we, we just couldn't do it. I, this is why I really want to take the whole and sh just shut the whole park down. That way you won't miss it because you are there. This is one of those things. I'm going to tell you another reason why I didn't go live. How you doing, Anne-Marie? Say, hello. I just wanted to let you know that I seriously appreciate all you share and love. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Um, I'm going to tell you why I didn't go live this time. Everybody, a few people got upset that I didn't go live. I'm going to tell you why I didn't. Number one, this was, I really wanted this for people to be there to get the experience and not something fake. The whole reason for us coming together is to leave the social media part of this behind and really come together as real people face to face. That's what I'm trying. I'm trying to implement that and put the real back into social media because social media is, is become pure entertainment. And I want it to be real again. I want, 
to go fishing with the fishing pole and not the little joystick on the on the game module. I really want people to really get back out here and feel the weather and deal with the weather instead of sitting in a den playing on one of these video games, fishing or golfing. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Okay. So um, here's the other reason I didn't go live. I also didn't go live because there are a lot of, there were a lot of professional people there that can't go live. They can't be seen on camera like, like me. So they paid to be there. They traveled a long way to be there. And the least I could do was um, respect their privacy. They're, when you're watching me, I put myself on, on this platform to be seen. But a lot of people don't want to be seen. So I wanted to keep that privacy. And of course, like I said, again, it's better when we're just all together. Instead of me with a camera in my hand every five seconds, you know, I can't talk to anybody because, oh, here, I got to get this good shot. It, it kind of takes something away from it, you know, instead of us sitting down and having a real face to face conversation. Uh, Anna Marie said, I totally agree with you. I hated the day that I had to get a cell phone. Hey, Miss T with the T. How you doing, sister? Good to see you in here. Um, Jones True said, I get it, Led. Take away the distractions and be face to face with everything. That's right. That way I can I can talk to you. Y'all can watch me on this camera. Look, every day. I'm on here almost every day. You can do that any anytime you want. But when it comes to look, I really want to meet you. I really want to, we really want to talk to each other. I can't do that like this, you know. I can't do it like that. And it's not fair. So that's why, hey, New Orleans Gardener, how you doing tonight? It's good to see you. I said tonight. What time is it? It's 4 o'clock this evening, rather. Good to see you. Uh, how you doing, Michelle? Say, um, let me see. You'll be the first one I saw. Already started starting to sing. Do you remember the times? <laughs> September song uh, is going to be great. Listen. Um. I tell you what, September is going to be way cooler than, than I think both of the first ones we had. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you will have to depend on yourself. So I'm going to throw out a few suggestions and I'm going to run this into the ground all the way to September. If you don't have a solar power generator, talk to me let's let's talk let's seriously talk about what your needs will be and what we can put get what we could probably fit you into number one number two show of hands right now how many people have a gas generator gas gasoline a quiet <laughs> gas generator i gotta say that quiet um let me see. No, uh, let me see. What was that? Okay. Cindy's world says, Cindy's world says no electric at the site. I keep hitting this. Wait a minute. Where am I? To answer your question. No, at this, at, at this one, there will be no electricity at these sites. We're going caveman camping. So all we're going to have is water. And I personally would, number one, bring my own water. Number two, I would have something to purify that water. Okay? Something to purify the water. So even if you have to use the water that's on the campsite, the water tastes like not water. <laughs> okay? So please have something to purify your water, clean your water. After you pur purify it, boil it, okay? Yes, we're going to be doing primitive camping, uh, Earl J. So everything that you bring with you will depend, you will be depending on you. If you can't depend on yourself, the other part of this will be 
you will be dependent on your brothers and sisters around you here in the greenhouse lounge like we did this time. I'm waiting for anybody that was there with us because there was heroic stories being made during this camping trip. Everybody was helping everybody in a lot of serious situations. And I don't want to mention them right now unless the person or people are here. We had, I'm going to, I'm just going to talk about a few that I know that's not really, you know, private. A lot of people helped a lot of people set up their tents because we were practicing our prep. Some of us just bought these tents. Some of us never put up a tent before in our lives. Some of us didn't know where certain parts went. That's just how it go. And that's what this was all about. Okay. Um, I just saw something. Hold on. Why do I keep? What's up, Rambo Green Hands? Say, I wonder if there's a lake or stream at this compound. We're on the ocean. We're, we're, we're at Myrtle Beach State Park. We're literally not even 100 yards away from the ocean. You can hear the roar of the waves, literally. We're that close, okay? So there is, at this primitive site, there is a stream that runs behind us. I wouldn't be ready to do a whole bunch of fishing in it, but there is a moving stream behind us, yes. Okay. Miss T with a T say, I, like, I would like experience putting up a tent. Come on, Miss T. Come on. People came all the way from Ohio, Cleveland, Colorado, Texas. We had professionals. We had firefighters. We had uh, Marines. We had police officers, you nurses. We, uh, was he a doctor? We had a lot of professionals there. So um, in September, this is what's going to make it even better. Because in September, in September, once you're done and you're dirty and you're grimy and you like, listen, I done had it up to here and I'm, I just need a little bit of, you know, reality. <laughs> you know, you, you can't take it no more. Go swimming in ocean. Last year, what we did, you know, a lot of people was like, even me, I was like, whoo, we taking a beating. Go in the ocean, man. Go for a swim in the salty ocean and have yourself a ball. Enjoy your day. We're also, even though the state park looks like we're in the middle of the jungle, we're also only two or three miles away from the boardwalk. When I say the boardwalk, the, really the boardwalk is almost 100 yards away from us. But I mean all of the attractions of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, all the tourism. We're only like two or three or four, I'm going to say five miles tops. Go play some mini golf if you're tired of living like a caveman. That's what I'm saying. So we got the best of all worlds. We're in our own little world, but at the same time, when you didn't had enough, or if you don't want to leave in just three days, three or four days, say you book it for a whole week. You got a lot of personal days at your job for a whole week. Spend the rest of that in a nice hotel with a nice hot shower. I'm talking about the kind you just turn a knob, water come out, soap. Because when you at camp, it's a whole bunch of bucket washing. I'm going to get in here and see what y'all saying. What's the weather there in September? Hot. Very hot. Okay, Rambo Greenhand said that, uh, that's what this all about. People coming together to make a beautiful community. That, yes, it is. Everyone helping each other. Man, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Okay, let me see. Let me see. How you doing, Crafty Moms Creation? Good to see you. Good to see you. I was waiting to see you at camp. I, I don't know what happened. Uh, I was really waiting for Homestead in the Hood. I was really waiting for her because she had just got a brand new tent and everything. Okay, now here's a question. I'm glad. Uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Say, was camping with y'all in my backyard, had to drag the husband and dogs out too. There you go, gardening with uh, Blue Willow. There you go. Melissa says, 
Did it rain a lot? And did Randy and his cousins make an appearance? It poured down raining the whole first day. Everybody learned from that rain. It was cold and it was wet. If your tent was whack, you paid dearly for that. We learned, don't put your wood and leave your wood out in the rain. I told everybody that. We also learned, um, did you bring extra cover, extra clothing for warmth? We also learned, uh, how are you going to get this water out of your tent? Did you bring enough towels? Did you bring a mop? You know, if you got a tent and you got some leaks going on, you got to get the water out. We learned a lot. And as far as Randy he didn't just bring his cousins. I believe he brought his whole lineage. Randy had people screaming through the night. Randy was ripping everybody's groceries up that they left outside because when it's raining and it's cold or it's too hot and it's nasty and it's muggy, all you want to do is get out, eat, and get back in your tent. You know, you tired. This ain't like you at home. You're not in your bed. You're uncomfortable. A lot of us had cots. A lot of us had air beds. A lot of us sleeping on the ground on a on a, a sleeping bag. You learned no matter what you do, don't leave your food outside. Don't do it. You will come outside and you will have trash all over your camp. Some of your food will be gone. Don't just leave pots with lids on it because Randy got thumbs. He can pick your lid off your pot like this and take it off and eat your sausages. It's that simple. Yet, oh, 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 there you go. Uh, said, bring an extra tarp. Right, right. Uh, what's your name? GG Miles one. Yes, tarps were everything. We had a lot of people donating prizes. We had prizes, but we also had a lot of the people from the Greenhouse Lounge donate prizes for the, the big giveaway. And one of those, I'm going to be honest with you, is just as important or powerful as a generator to me was a tarp. So somebody won, I think it was a 20 by 12 or 20 by 20 tarp. Woo! Camouflage too thick. I can't remember the MLs on it, but it was a thick one, heavy. It was everything. Uh, let me see. Yes, Randy is a raccoon. Randy is a raccoon and you can see the shadows of all of them around your tent like gremlins. One night I woke up in the middle of the night and I just could see tons of them. I was right next to uh, Bougie Prepper. And if you ain't familiar with Bougie Prepper, go over to her channel. And if you and uh, Bougie Prepper and Triple Threat Firearms, they shared a lot. So just in case you guys don't know, you can rent a lot and go half with somebody else. And then that'll cut your cost for your lot. So they shared a lot, right? And they forgot to put something up. And I, they were just feet away from me. Both of their tents were just feet away from me. When I tell you Randy was all in their mix, I heard him and his buddies and his friends and cousins, mamas, daddy, going through their stuff all night. And I heard Triple Threat wake up like, uh, 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 tow her up. So that's how this go. You got to be diligent with your food because hopefully someday this will end up being, we're going to really end up out in the wilderness, like the real deal. And we got to follow the rules because right now we're dealing with possums and raccoons. We're going to end up dealing with stuff a little bigger in the future. When we finally get down to places like Florida, places like Texas, once we start moving around the map, these animals, the wildlife gets bigger and more dangerous. You cannot sleep on the rules. It's like having your bear spray with you, leaving, eating in the tent. Don't eat in the tent. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, so I'm going to get back in here. Uh, okay, uh, Miss T said I would need to share a lot. I'm a party of one. Miss T, no problem. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I'm glad you said that, Miss T. You know why? Because I, you know what? I'm almost embarrassed to say this, fellas. Fellas, 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 man, what are we doing? I'm going to show two pictures. One, one of the pictures, I'm going to show it right now, too. Let me see if I can find it. Y'all hang on two ticks because I'm telling you, I ain't moving. I, I'm going to show you what this look like. Fellas, we got to do better than this. Okay, I hope, it's, I, hope I got it on my iPad because I was like, what is going on here? Here's the deal. There we go. Fellas, this is the picture of the ladies. Wow, that's amazing. Fellas, gentlemen, gentlemen of the Greenhouse Lounge, we got to do better than this. I'm going to try my best to show this. This is the picture of all of the beautiful ladies that showed up and showed out for survival slumber party okay practice your preps all of these ladies some of a lot of them came by themselves beautiful the ladies came in and represented they represented do you hear me okay gentlemen <laughs> gentlemen now y'all saw the size of that now i just want to make sure we saw the size of uh the ladies represent let me get in here gentlemen not that we wasn't on the one but this is this is all the gentlemen we had with us. We could count them on one hand. Fellas, and the little one with the with the rainbow shirt, he don't count. That's my nephew. He just happened to be there. He lives in Myrtle Beach, so I just brought him along with me. So he kind of don't count. Come on, man. Fellas, we can't do this. We listen, y'all have me, y'all have me and my wife, man. You have my wife laughing all the way home, man. Man, I said, wow, wow, fellas of the greenhouse lounge. And here's another one. I'm not playing matchmaker or nothing. I'm not playing matchmaker or nothing. Okay. Let's get back to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two ticks, two ticks. I'm not playing matchmaker or nothing. But, gentlemen, gentlemen, all these beautiful sisters. Now, it's, it's some merry ones in there, so, you know, they ain't, they ain't, okay, they ain't up for, for, for grabs. Fellas, it was a lot of single ladies here representing. Fellas, we got to do better than that, man. You know what? When the whole crowd cleared out and we was like, okay, all the fellas come together. I stood there waiting like, uh, I believe there's a couple more of us somewhere. Come on, man. I want to see that next roster with the first first word before they name. I want to hear Mr. Call me Mr. Tibbs. Something. Please, man. I'm like, wow, brothers. And these, let, let me tell you, I, I'm not trying to start no stuff. I'm not trying to start no junk. I'm not trying to start no competition or nothing like that. But boys, these ladies was handling their business. I'm going to put it to you like this. 
these ladies set up their own tents, their own cabins. They had grills. They had preparedness equipment. They had all the gear. These ladies had everything that would save their lives. I was like, wow. They had, we went on a thing, what we call tour of the tents. Me and Lady, me and Lady Led did that last year by ourselves. This year, we wanted everybody to go on tour of the tents. During tour of the tents, what that is, is we all go for a walk, the whole camp, all of us, and visit each other's campsite to see your gear, get ideas, and look at what you got going on. I'm going to be honest with you, y'all. That's That was one of the most favorite parts of the whole trip for me. Because y'all camps, y'all camps shut it down. Y'all camp shut it down. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and then we're gonna move on. Okay. I'm gonna say this now, fellas. Again, there was there was three or four times more ladies than it was us gentlemen. I'm gonna say this, fellas. The fellas that didn't show up, I'm gonna just say this. These ladies and gentlemen had campsites so tight that they had outsiders coming videotaping our whole camp section. People were walking through the greenhouse lounge section and were videotaping and taking pictures of all of us in all of our campsites. Now, for that, I want to say this. A lot of people took that negatively, right? Like, how they going to come here and be videotaping us? And I had to change that into a positive light. And I told everybody at the camp this. Don't think of it like that. That's, it's easy to think of that in a negative light. I want everybody to think of that in a positive light. We had that camp on lock. So sweet. Positive energy is all we spread. There was no malice. There was no fighting. There was no loud noise, no loud music, no bull crapping going on. It was beautiful lights, beautiful tents, some of the most beautiful tents and campsites probably these people ever seen in their lives. We showed up and we showed the hell off. That's what they were looking at. They were looking at like, wow, this is amazing. We made that whole campsite at South Carolina, Myrtle Beach State Park. We made them feel the power of our presence there. We made them feel that, okay? I just need to let y'all know, please don't think of that in a, in a negative light at all. Feel, feel that in a, in a positive light because we made them feel that, all right? They were like, wow. I'm telling you people's coming through and videotaping us like it was a carnival. And, and you got to be honest, man, it was so many beautiful uh, LED lights all around everybody's campsite. Everybody went off. Listen, everybody was showing off. So I said with the tour of the tents, what I would like to do every single time, hey, bring it. Bring it. Now, we still doing survival camp, but bring it. If you want to glamp it out, pimp your tent, come pimp your tent. Because I'm telling you, we made a lot of noise. <laughs> when I say noise, I ain't talking about like nothing crazy. I'm talking about people had to come. People were there, and this is what they were doing. They was driving around. They would come around once, come around twice. Have a good day, son. All right, make, did you ever find it? All right, just keep on checking, okay? They were they were coming around just to come. You know, like when Christmas time, people want to go see the lights before Christmas at whatever setup y'all got at the zoo or whatever. People were coming to look at our lights, look at all our campsites, us smoking, grilling, loving each other, laughing, smiling. Man, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. That's all I want to say. A lot of us took that negatively. 
and I don't want people to think like that even even if you feel even if it was negative right even if they were videotaping us and and jotting us down negatively I need a muffler still. Even if they were videotaping us and taking a picture in, in a negative light, I want you to understand something. What could they go home and say? What could they go home and say that was negative? Even if they didn't like it, what could you say? Nothing. The only thing you could say negative about anything we were doing is you just don't like us. That's it. You can't say it's just because of our, our skin tone. No, we had all flavors there. So it don't even matter. You can't say that. You just didn't like us. You can't say we were making too much noise. You can't go home and say, oh, they was uh, cooking all kind of stinking food. No, no. You couldn't go home and say nothing negative about nothing we was doing. So I'm going to only look at that in a positive light. We we made people leave their camp from the whole other side of this state park just to come see us. Huh? That's what I that's how I feel. They were blown away. That's how I felt when they I seen these uh this one family come around. I ain't going to mention them. Daily. This one family come around. All of them had their phones. All of them. You know what I did? I went up closer to the road so they could really get a good look. I want them to see my face. I want them to recognize me. And you know what he had to say because I was so close and he couldn't play it off like he ain't videotaping. He said, hey, nice tent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you see that one down there? Yeah, that was beautiful. You couldn't, you couldn't deny it. You know what I'm saying? So, family, it was a beautiful thing. I had to put that out there and tell y'all that. But we will be doing the tour of the tent. That's part of it now. Tour of the tent. Pimp your tent. If you, I say go hard. Just go hard. Because we've seen some setups. We've seen some setups that some of us done was so creative and so off the chain. It made some of us season campers be like oh my god oh my god so i'm even thinking about which would be hard i this is what i'm going to do i'm going to announce it right now i don't even know how i'm going to do it i don't know how i'm going to do it hey gina gina but i'm gonna say this the next time we're going to give everybody a a voting ballot you get two votes. You get two votes. And we're all going to vote for one another's who had the who had the best pimp my tent. The reason I give you two ballots is of course a lot of people gonna vote for themselves. You're like, no, I went too hard for this, you know. I'm gonna vote for myself. But you know, if you like, man, you know, I didn't I didn't bring it this, I didn't bring it this year, you know. Uh, you know how the, the athletes be there. Uh you know, we trained and, uh, you know, uh, we were on the field and we did it. Uh, you know, we, we did our bit best we could do. And, uh, you know, uh, the, that rain and the weather was just uh, too rough for us. And, uh, you know, we've never been here before in the snow. And, uh, you know, uh, we just next time, next season, what we're going to do, we're going to bring it a little harder, bring it a little smoother and uh, uh, go hard on the defense next time. And uh, <laughs> that's what... <laughs> That's what we gonna do next time. We just gonna come with it. So you'll be able to vote for yourself or vote for two other candidates on the tent on the site for Pimp My Tent tour of the tents. We're gonna tour the tents, and then that night after tour of the tents, you get to vote on your two people, and then the next day we'll tally up the votes. And we'll see who the winner was. Okay. So, <laughs> but that's how I want to do it because it was incredible. We was walking out there in pitch black, 
Some people, I forgot my headlamp. I forgot my flashlight. We went from daylight to darkness, to pure pitch black darkness. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot all my lights. And luckily, a lot of people came with their LED headlamps. Um, and they was lighting up the whole thing. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. So I'm going to show as much as I can of that. But I promise you, it will be wonderful if you guys could attend the next one and help me shut this park down. Help me shut it down so we can really represent. And, gentlemen, I want to see. Gentlemen, I want to see my fellas in the house. My fellas. Ladies, you're beautiful. I love you. I loved it. I loved it. I just I just really kind of want to see what my fellas can do. I mean, ladies, is y'all going to try to outdo us again? I mean, I don't know. They even had their own little thing. Fellas, they had their own little. If you look at the picture, they all did their little hands like this and like did some kind of little yodel. Or, ooh, I don't know what that was, but they like how did they become so united so quick? They did it. I don't even know where it came from. Like, like while we was all asleep, they all got together and planned that part. They got together, did some kind of like little greenhouse lounge symbol and did a little yodel like a owly bird. Man, they made they 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 made us look bad, man. They made us look get bad. Yeah, the sisterhood was thick. The sisterhood was thick. And uh fellas, we we represented. But it just wasn't enough of us. Listen, I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you again how this look. Okay? I just want to... I, I need to show you one more time how this look. Uh, fellas. Okay. You cannot see the wall behind the ladies. You cannot see the background of the pavilion behind the ladies. You can't see it. They shut it down. Shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. You couldn't see behind them. That's how deep they was. If this was a gang, man, we would have to forfeit. You know? And fellas, you can even see some birds and stuff humming behind us. You can see some, some, some deer in the meadow. You know, you can see the sign that say Greenhouse Lounge right here. Or where is it? Right here. We, sh we shouldn't be able to see this stuff. <laughs> we... We and look, we some big, we were some big fellas. A lot of us was. How was we not filling up this wall, man? How was we not filling up this wall? Again, again, ladies. I'm going the wrong way because the ladies just making it worse for me. They just they just hurting my feelings. Wait a minute. I was right where I needed to be. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, come on, cut it out, cut it out now, come on, man, fellas, we got to do better than that, don't, don't, don't let me, don't let, don't let us fade away like this. We got to represent. Please, fellas, come help me shut South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina State Park. Come help me shut this down. And I know the ladies is already calling each other like, we ain't going to let them do this. We ain't going to let them do this. Oh, no. Uh, Where's your cousin? Get your sister. Where your mom at? She's still in the hospital. Get her too. bring her oxygen tank. Come on, man. We can't, fellas, we can't let the ladies do this to us. It was all beautiful, but come on now. Come on. I mean, they were deep. And they was, somebody was, oh, oh, oh. Somebody was, I'm not going to, I'm not going to front her out. You watching me, sister. My sister brought some lamb kebabs to the campfire, movie night campfire, where we made s'mores. Fellas, they was running this thing so deep and so cold bloody that they making lamb kebabs, bruh. 
we eating Nathan hot dogs and they eating kebabs. Kebabs. Bobby. Oh, man, they trying to put us to shame, man. Gore, they bringing gourmet meals. I don't know what triple threat and bougie prepper was cooking next door, but while I was in there eating my um chicken breast and baked beans, fellas, gentlemen, ladies, boy, did they they represent it, man. They represent, I don't know what, they was over there. They had spices. I think they brought a whole container with just spices. With just spices. <laughs> like, I don't even know. I don't even know what you use cilantro for. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what, um. I don't even know how to pronounce a lot of those herbs. Why do you have these specialized herbs at camp, fellas? They had the whole block on lock. I promise you, there was a whole block of the Greenhouse Lounge, and it smelled like uh, 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 Michigan Avenue in Chicago. Anybody from Chicago know or been in Chicago, you understand where all the food and the pizza and the Italian restaurants and the, the Greek foods. and Oh, man, cut it out. Oh, my God. Or have you ever been to a carnival and go over by the concession stand? You, man, they was killing us, man. They was killing us. Us fellas, man, some of us was doing stuff as primitive as putting a hot dog on a stick. That was my nephew. Nephew led. I said, man, put that down. Put, get that hot dog off that stick. Making me look bad. They over there, they over there roasting brisket. They smoking brisket on a campfire. And you put a hot dog on a stick. You supposed to be related to me. Boy, go season something. You know, good God. The ladies was coming in with pot roast. And I don't know where they was getting all these delicious foods. Out of the, in the tent. God, they was they was bubbling. Stuff was bubbling, you know. They had like like a bunch of cauldrons, and they on the wheels of the grills of steel. They got two and three barbecue grills, gas grills. Man, they opening up pots and lids and stuff and carrots and potatoes. I can't. And we putting hot dogs on sticks and roasting over open flame. With some wood, would still had poison ivy on it. <laughs> well, please, fellas, we can't let them get away with this. We can't let them get away with this, man. We can't let them get away with this. Oh my God, we roasting old fallen timber with poison uh, sumac still attached to it, and roasting like, ooh, my eyes itching. Look, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've got a couple. You see that? I don't know if that's ivy, sumac. So it had to be come from one of the pieces of wood I snatched out that tree like like a, a bum. <sighs> so, again, let's do this again and help me shut this campsite down. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, September. This next September... What we have is in the description box below. I'm going to go down here right now and, and tell you the exact date right now. Okay, Lady Led has set it up. So it's September 1st through the 4th, 2023. Survival Slumber Party will be in Myrtle Beach State Park, South Carolina, September 1st through the 4th. Okay, so please, please go down and set up because they're going to go fast, like this one did. They're going to go fast. So at this time, I said I want to start it immediately, as soon as we get home. That way, you got a whole year to plan, a whole year to save, a whole year to get up on all of your gatherings and all your supplies and your preps. and You got a whole, you know. Uh, Sheila M. said them women weren't playing around. 
Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me get in here and, and holler at y'all before we get out of here. Uh, I'm going to put my link in the chat. Oh, 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 we got Nina. We got Nina T. I'm going to just add you to the stream, Nina. I'm sorry. Uh, Come on in. Come on in. I can't hear you. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Good, Good how are you? you. <laughs> Good oh. to see you. Yeah. I can hear you so much better here. Oh, great. Great. Okay. But did, you wasn't at the camp, were you? No, no, I wasn't. I didn't even know about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, we're trying to turn this into a worldwide event. Right, we, right. We have people come from all across the country. You might okay. Where are you at right now? I'm in Michigan. Oh, we have people from Michigan. We have people from Ohio. You might as well just come on down. Yeah. Too bad it's not May because I'll be in Myr Myrtle Beach in May of this year. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. We, may, we may end up being there at least just to meet you. Yeah. You're right here. Okay, cool. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, you guys had such a good time. It sounds great. Oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. And I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I wasn't ready to leave, but I had I to. I'm getting ready for another trip right now. If you can see behind me, this is all the stuff I took out, and I'm about to put a lot of it back in the trailer because I have to leave again. Okay. So, okay. If I didn't have to do this, I would still be at Myrtle Beach today. Right, right. It's my first time going, so I have family there. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Good reason to come out. <laughs> Yes, yes. So when you come down, do me a favor, email Lady Led uh, her email because I, it's hard for me to get to my emails. Please email Lady Led at uh, you'll, you'll be in the chat, but email her and please let us know when you're down here so that way I may be in the Myrtle Beach area and we can stop right in there and see you for a hot second. Okay, or two. Right. Okay. okay, well, thanks so much. Hi, guys. Thank you. Thank you in, okay. All righty. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Happy Mac. Thank you for that, for uh, posting. This is Happy Mac just posted where you can register for September 1st through 4th, next September, the 1st through the 4th survival slumber party. We're going caveman camping there will be no electricity so you will need a you don't need electricity you don't need it helps but if i were you you got a solar power generator it's time to practice using it if you have a gas generator a quiet one a quiet one <laughs> bring it and, uh, you know, there's still a shutoff time for power, still shutoff time for noise. So if you run that generator, I think that the time to shut your generators off, your gas generators will be something like, I think it's seven, eight o'clock, something like that. Okay. So, uh-oh, Callie Homestead with Pooh Bear, how you doing? What's going on, little sister? She said, it's my birthday month, so I will be there. Well, come on down. Oh, look who's in the room. Smiles, smile. That's why I said, smile, smiles. I said your name earlier. You explained it to me. Here I come. Here I come. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hi, What's everyone. Up? What's up? Hi. How you doing? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay. You made it home. Oh, my goodness. We had such a lovely time. I mean to tell you, KG and Smiles, we had an, a joy. We, uh, I mean, it was so amazing. Yes, thank you. So I, all I want to say is your, listen, everybody is interested in van lifing. Van life, you need to talk to my sister because she came. A, my conversion van, I mean, we did it from scratch. Oh. And 
I mean, we just enjoyed being with you all. And yeah. it was amazing. We helped each other. What yeah. we didn't bring, water or whatever, we helped our neighbors. It was wonderful. That's right. It was so, I was, it was, listen, you are amazing. You are amazing. I'm glad that you are here. I tried to wait at least three or four days afterwards. That way I'm, I'm like, people came from so far away. I wanted to make sure they got home and, you know, get some rest, take a shower, yes. a, hot shower a real shower, and mm -hmm. then we can do this together. So thank exactly. you. Oh, my God. And we will be um, opening up a video stream a YouTube channel because I've got a wealth of information to give all of you all. <laughs> yes, yes. Everybody, she is an engineer. And when I tell you she hooked this van life van up, listen, I don't know if y'all remember Knight Rider back in the back in the 80s. Anybody remember Knight Rider when Michael Knight used to drive the car up onto the trailer and then you know inside of the semi trailer was like a whole nother world of computer generated stuff where Kit was built. That's my sister right here. Oh my God. It was like a tank. Yeah. So oh. I'm I'm gonna do the YouTube channel and it's gonna be named Time with Smiles. You let me know, okay, personally, please, because that was all part of this, start your channel because people can see what you do. And it's, you should have had a channel a hundred years ago. This, the stuff that you do, oh my God. Oh, you watch me. I need to be watching you, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, Len. No, okay. I just found out how to get on this right here. But okay. I want to tell everyone that the experience you will want, it is a, a experience that you will never regret with water, without water, with electricity. It enhances your life and it empowers you. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming by. All right. You was bye bye I, everybody. I couldn't wait to see you too. So, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Miles. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Oh my God, that was. But listen, y'all. Let me tell you. I told you on when we went on the tour of the tents, pimp my tent edition. Smiles had a van life. Now y'all watch van life. Uh, what's my man's name? He's one of the more, more famous van lifers. Y'all watch that on YouTube. But to see it in real life where she, you go in her van and she was transforming things like a Decepticon. Like it looks like a bed, but now it's a kitchen. This looks like a porta potty, but now it's a sink. Man, you, you, she, this looks like a cabinet full of beans, but this is a whole control panel for all the lights. Family, if you saw this and was not impressed, I don't know what planet you're from. That's all I can say. You talking about power. Hey, Gigi's W. Hey, Granny Karma's homestead. How you doing, Granny Karma? Hey, Gigi's natural. Hey, CC Texas Garden. Sheila M. Fullmore said, that now that's what I'm talking about. She is sunshine. Said, I know I can't do September 1st. Got to find my next place. That's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Do what you got to do. Hey, uh, be of good cheer. How you doing? Simply Me says, hello, Led. I had a dream that you and Lady Led was here in Columbus, Ohio with a sign, Led's on the loose. Was it a dream? No. Huh? Or wasn't it? Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Somebody in the house. What's up? What's <laughs> hey, oh. big brother. Hi, How everybody. You How y'all doing? doing? Good to see you, I'm Pooh Bear. Good. You All too. Right. So you will never believe what's going on out here. What's up? We are in a blizzard. Like, if you watch my videos, you'll see yesterday I went to go to LA to take Earl to work and go to LA. And had to turn around because El Cajon Pass was closed. 
Wow. It's snow everywhere. <laughs> like real snow, snow? Yeah, it's about oh. a good two inches, maybe three inches in some parts. What? We've been having this week-long winter uh, blizzard. It's like, it's ridiculous. Wow. Wow. It's ridiculous. That's insane. But again, that's why we're here to practice our preps because exactly. the weather. Listen, our very first night was when we first all got there, it was 84 degrees. It was 84 oh degrees God. when we got to the campsite. Beautiful. That night dropped down to what What was it? 50 degrees, freezing, and it rained all night, nonstop, heavy rain. That's crazy. That so it was freezing crazy. and wet and damp. So every, this is what this is all about, you know. No doubt. The weather will be nice one minute. The next minute, like you, you're in a, you're in a blizzard in California. You know, forget <laughs> about it. it. Makes no sense. It's crazy. Man, I'm, I'm coming over there to see you, killer, huh? I said, I just wanted to stop by, stop in and say hi to everybody. Say hi okay. to you. I'm happy y'all had a great time. Thank you, thank you, All and right. I hope to, I hope to see you in September, birthday oh, girl. Oh, check it out! I've already uh, went put it in. I already put it in my shopping cart because September is my birthday month. Okay, so we're gonna that be would, there. That would be wonderful to have a little birthday party for you right there. Give you a little cupcake or something during the, yeah. the whole thing. But yeah, but come... I'll see you at the end of this month, won't I? What's the end of this month? Oh, right. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. At uh, Black right. Tropical Home, the soil. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I will be there. Soil I'll yes. be there, okay? All right, we'll be there too, so I'll see you soon. All right, bye, see you everybody. soon. Bye-bye. Thank bye, you, bro. sis. All right, bye-bye. Okay, we got another one in the house. Killer. Hey, How man. You? How you doing? It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. I'm doing fine. I'm still unpacking. <laughs> oh, let, let me tell you something. Is is look, you see all this stuff behind. I don't want to show my address or nothing, but you see this stuff behind me. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's spread across my yard. Behind me is my look. I, I think I can turn it this way. Behind me is still in my trailer. Oh, yeah. I'm not done. I'm same not even, here. I'm not even close to done. The same here. But I had an awesome time. My husband and I, we 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 are avid campers, and I just had to jump on and let you know it felt so good not to Ooh. be the only ones. Ooh. You know, that Ooh. feeling I felt, I told my husband, I said, you know what? I just can't believe how beautiful it was. And 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 we had the same sentiment. Yes. Like how many people were coming around checking out. You know the setups, right? They were on point. Yes, yes. And so it was lovely. I I, I loved it. I have four more people wanting to join now because of it, and um, I just keep keep doing what you're doing, man. It's Thank awesome, you. You. and it was nothing but love. Anyone Ooh. that's thinking about it, don't hesitate. Do it, and if you need to bring your pooch, you know, bring your pooch and keep them under control. There you go. There you go. And I'm I'm gonna tell you this. Y'all were awesome. You heard me start talking about neon lights. You know I was talking about you. You was one of the ones because coming to your you. family, family, coming to her campsite, coming to their campsite was breathtaking because you. you didn't know if you was at the carnival. You didn't know. <laughs> You about ready to ask her for a funnel cake or something. I mean, you talk about lights, glamour, glitz. You talk about pimp my tent. You know y'all y'all was acting up pimping your tent. The tent oh, was pimped. Thank you. The thank tent you. was pimped. They had a whole kitchen tent. They had a whole side. This tent is just for kitchen. This is just for cooking. And then over here, oh, y'all see, y'all was cutting up. Y'all, I wish everybody could have been there to see that. Well, we will be there in September, and we will have two more couples coming with us. So Come it's on. only going to be bigger and better. 
come that's what i want i listen you see how people was videotaping us because we was making we was we was holding it down like that mm -hmm. i want to shut that part of the camp down i literally mm -hmm. want to shut that down i want people to come over there and say what is this right that's so yeah we had yes. two people say, now, what's the name of this group again? <laughs> right, right. I'm telling you, it was incredible. It was uh, awesome. When we went on the victory lap, the last, uh, the mile walk through the forest, I think mm -hmm. you guys left before that. No, we were still there. We had to, I had to run to Walmart to get some stuff to lock down on top of the car. Right. We were getting some right. plants. <laughs> <laughs> we we went through the we went through the forest on the um uh, on the walk, mm. and people were just looking at us like, "There's more of you, wow!" And they're looking around, "Oh my goodness!" And we just we took up the whole forest. Yeah, it was awesome. Beautiful. So, I can't wait. I can't wait, and I can't wait to meet some more awesome uh, lounge members. It's if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, jump on in. You're gonna love it. Thank you so much, Killer. Thank, Thank you, you, and keep up the good work. And tell Lady Led I said, hey, and I'm All still right. doing my thing like this. Yeah, I know. This, this, look, everybody <laughs> better better know what I don't know what, how they <laughs> pulled this off. But this was their little thing, the Greenhouse Lounge ladies. That's right. Man, Hold it, it down. Y'all held it down. And tell my brother I said, what's happening? I will do. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, bye -bye. sister. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, man. This was beautiful. This was totally beautiful, family. Um, I don't. I it. I got so much to say. I'll be sitting here talking about it for the next four hours, and I'm not gonna do that to you. Um, but this is one of those things you just gotta be there to see it. You have to be there to see it. You you not just see it. You have to be there to feel exactly what i'm telling you there's a feeling to this there's not just i was there and i saw it you you were there to feel it all of these people here in the greenhouse lounge this not even the greenhouse lounge youtube in general meeting up and seeing each other's real faces not a thumbnail real faces real people shaking real hands Seeing that this is a human being, and I'm gonna tell you what it does. One thing it does, it it reminds you of the humanity behind the person on the computer. So before you go cracking all kind of crazy jokes like I do, it makes me really think like maybe, you know, you know maybe that wasn't that wasn't funny. You know, certain things I say and certain things I do, and I do it without thinking or I do it without um. Do it out of ignorance because you're not you don't know how other people may be living, but to see another human being, it makes you really start thinking like we got we got to do better with our humanity and the way we address one another, right? Man, man, it it was beautiful. That's all I can say. Last year was incredible. And you want to know something? This is what I want to do. I want to show you guys something. I'm going to give me two ticks. I want to show you guys something that's super important to me. And I, I didn't get a chance. I'm doing my best not, not to go to leaking on y'all. I want to show y'all something that's very important to me. Hold on.
had to I had to bring this out because it's so important to me. Okay. This family is what we did last year. We had the lads on a loose shirt and had everybody sign it front and back. Next time I won't have people sign the back because um you know, I want your name to show and I, I want to frame it. Every year, we're going to bring the shirt to represent who was all there. And this was our first annual. And this is all the people that were there at our first, very first annual survival camp, survival slumber party. And it was a wonderful thing. So now... This was this year's. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, be, all those beautiful signatures. To me, that is everything. All these people showed up, showed out, and signed this shirt and represented and let you know that they were there. All of these people, a lot more names this year, right? That means the world to me. So every year we're going to do this. And I hope, this is my hope. This is what I want to do. You see this white shirt? I don't, I want to make this whole white shirt black with signatures. I want to have so many names on one of these shirts that you don't know what color the shirt is. I don't want you to know the actual color of the shirt because I wanted to be so many signatures that we're trying to find a place. We might have to turn the shirt inside out for you to sign it. That's what I want. That is, man, this is incredible. This is incredible. So what we do when we doing pass the mic, pass the mic if you're not aware with pass the mic is we all meet under the pavilion on the second day and we all pass a microphone. Tell us who we are. Tell us who you are. Tell us a little about yourself, how you got here, what's your expectations and what did you go through the night before the good stuff and the bad stuff. So during past the mic, we also have past the shirt where we're passing this shirt around and everybody is signing it. So, Listen, it's going to, I want it to be to the point where we have to sit down and tell everybody, okay, one, only one minute on the mic, only one minute on the mic, because there's like 5,000 people here, you know, <laughs> or they break it down to 30 seconds. I want so many people there that we have to time the mic so everybody can give their experiences in, in, in that first 15 or 30 seconds, you know. Man, it's come on, man. It's beautiful. So I'm 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 sorry, y'all. Um let me see. Uh I'm I'm so busy running my mouth. I'm sorry about that. It's just I, I did I did get emotional, I did get a little caught up, and I'm sorry. But um Cheryl Raven says, just just saw your camping list. You have smart fit bit watch. Remember, they can be tracked. That means nothing. You're you're you have us. I'm not going to get into that, Cheryl. Cheryl, let me tell you something, my friend. You're on a smart device right now. Do you not think you can be tracked? I'm not going to get into that nonsense, but I'm telling you, sister, cut that out. If people want you, they can find you. This ain't 1902. If people want you and they can find you. And number two, if you're doing something cockeyed and crooked anyway, if you're doing, if you ain't doing nothing, ain't no need to be worried about who's watching. Just saying. Okay. That's the part we all left out. Uh, are those collapsible bins? Queen B, are those collapsible bins? What bins are you talking about? Queen B, are you posting on Eventbrite? Queen B, what, what are you talking about, my dear? I don't understand. 
two of your questions so far. That's that's a good one, Homestead in the Hood. Say cut the names out from the back of the shirt and patch them on the front. You're that's a good one. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I just I, I didn't know what that was. Uh, no, we're we're just we're registering on easily.com e easilygrowngarden.com slash products. Uh, the beehive, Cindy Jones. No, they're not. I don't. I don't. They're not collapsible. They're just boxes. Normal Langstroth hives. say september is going to be hot mine is loud you talk about your generator if so you got till about seven o'clock to run it so you'll be okay this is all part of the game though do you have a gas mask 8d do you have a gas mask that's the question that's the real question Let me see. Let me see here. All right. Let's get back into it. Okay. Um, let me see. SD, yes. How would you use it? If you don't, if you have a gas mask and you don't know how to use it, you might want to come to camp and practice your preps. Okay. Because that's what this is all about. If you have a gas mask, you need to learn how to use it. And not just from some, some guy on YouTube. You really need to read the instructions. Because if you have a gas mask, that's to save your life from poisons, okay? Uh, Cheryl's were are the primitive sites drive up or walk in? That's a great question, Cindy, because we couldn't quite figure it out. We saw that you could drive to it, but for the most part, it's about it looked to be like a like a a 30 yard walk or so from a parking lot. So I'm not sure. It looks like you could have, but your your vehicle would take up a lot of space. Let me see. Okay. Hey, triple Thread in here. Hey, there she go. What's up, Triple Thread? What's going on, sister? How you doing? It's good to see you in here. That was that was a trip, wasn't it? Triple Thread Firearms was, was posted right next to me. So that was that was awesome. Oh, too late for that. Okay, let me see. They'll be able to park their cars on their campsites. Lady Led just said they'll be able to park their cars. We all will be able to park our cars on our uba dubba dubba. Okay, there is space for cars. Okay.
Okay. Um, Soil Sister says, she says, question, was there a common issue or problem people came across? From my own experience, just hearing about how many people have buddy heaters, a lot of people have problems starting their buddy heaters for the first time. Remember, I had a little trouble starting my buddy heater. That happened more than more than not at camp. A lot of people had a little trouble starting their buddy heaters for one reason or another. But that and uh, most a lot of our wood got wet because we really didn't have too many ways to keep our wood dry. If you didn't put your wood under your canopy or keep it in your tent, if you left it out there in the rain, the wood got wet which means it's going to smoke real hard. And it also means it's going to, it may not even light unless you get a fire hot enough to, to keep it going. Let me see. Okay. Triple threat was in there holding it down. Triple threat was in there cooking so good. Thank you. Happy Mac. Thank you for that. Uh, triple threat. If y'all see me keep rubbing, rubbing my nose, my allergies is killing me. It just fit it all. You know, if you got allergies, seasonal allergy, it always just feel like stuff crawling up on your in, in your nose. So I ain't got a, I ain't got a a little buddy in there. I'm just it's irritated. Uh, that's right, Miss Hawk. Six months to get it together. Okay, okay. Smile, smile says power station needed. How much power is up to your consumption? That's right. It's up to you on how much power do you plan on consuming? Now, being on the primitive sites, you're going to have to start doing a lot of stuff the old-fashioned way. Like start, you want heat? Start a fire. You want light? Start a fire. You want to cook? Start a fire. That's going to be very, very important. So on a primitive site, I plan on when it come down to it, my my I'm going to bring a couple of generators, but they're going to be back up. Let me tell you this too, because if you're bringing a solar power generator, it's going to be hard for you to receive solar sunlight to your panels because the tree canopy covers everything. You could barely get solar and there's no leaves on the trees, but we have evergreens like pine trees, which made it really hard, if, if not impossible, for people to receive solar to regenerate their solar generators. That was a lot to think about. So in the primitive site, which we all saw is under a really full canopy, in the winter, during the fall or the late summer, you won't be able to see the sky hardly. So that's going to really kick you in the grapes when it comes to trying to regenerate your solar panels. That's why I say if you got a gas generator, you might want to bring it, okay? Or not do it at all and just go with your caveman. That's why I call this cave. This one, this edition is caveman camping because we're going to be in the backwoods like, hey, let's start to figure out something. Get that fire started before it get dark. Because your batteries in your flashlight only going to last lo so long. Your batteries in your headlamp only going to last so long. Is You're not going to be able to solar regenerate or, or recharge any of this. So you're going to have to use everything sparingly. Okay? So it's on and popping. Okay, let me see. Uh, smile, smile said 12 volt electric blanket with a buddy heater. I would, I would your buddy heater is everything. Now, in September, the weather is a little different. We still have cool nights, but you in September here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, you really this time want to start working on your buddy heater will be your backup. Now your main accessory will be a fan. You really want to look into that because it's going to be a little hot. Okay. That's that's right. Smile, smiles. September may be hot. It will be hot. OK, I live here, so I know. Uh, let me see. Uh, what was that? Um, Heather said I was going to ask that next. OK, yeah, it's definitely going to be hot, but don't 
Don't sleep on that because it might be cold. The weather is insane. Hey, Miss Shirley OG Gardner. How you doing tonight? Let me see what we got. Uh, eat a teaspoon of a day of local honey. <laughs> I got bees right here of not just local honey, but my own honey. That works, but I can't be consuming sugar right now. So uh, let me see. Say, yes, that's the way. Pine trees are the best for fire weighted blankets. There you go. Get some heavy blankets to stay warm. That's the best we can do. That's the best thing we can do. Okay, Missy says, just got my EB3A. All right, Miss Missy Hawk 22. I hope to see you so you can come here and use your stuff. But you know what I don't see? Where's my brothers at? Where are my brothers at? Boy, y'all ladies turned this camp. Y'all turned it out. Y'all turned it out. I'm telling you, boy, Lady Lid, y'all had Lady Lid laughing at me all the way home. I'm like, where's my fellas? Where the brothers? And then half the brothers didn't want to take no pictures. Like, we, we all running from the law. I'm like, man, come on, man. Come on, man. What's going on here? The fellas like, yeah, I don't do pictures. I, I ain't taking no pictures. Man. Woo. The ladies represented. Yes, yeah, Triple Thread said the ladies. Uh, triple, triple Thread said the ladies turn out in numbers. Oh, my goodness. They turned out in mass numbers. You know. Um, it was it was something else. Uh oh, Homestead in the hood says shameful confession. In all that I know, all that I've done, I've yet to start a fire, nor have I ever cooked out those doors, though I have everything to do so. Folks always did those things for me. I'll make, oh, I wish I could finish the rest of that. Well, come on, sister. Come on, my sister. Let's do this. Let's do this. So what we're going to have to do, we all going to have to do our own line. Let's all cook outside like we did. What was that, last year? Where everybody got to cook outside? Everybody. Get your rocket stove, get your wood stove, whatever you're going to do. Get your, get, get your barbecue grill. We all got to go outside and cook. Now, while Triple Threat was live, I was over there and we had a we had the campfire going on. I didn't know she was live, but I had Triple Threat on the movie screen. I was trying to show everybody's all the YouTube content creators videos instead of sitting around watching a bunch of pointless movies. I wanted to represent all of the content creators here on YouTube. I wish I could have stayed on top of that and just kept clicking on everybody's channels. I think I got to Gigi's Natural Eco Neighbor. I got to Triple Threat. I got to um, Bougie Prepper. I got to a few other people. But then the party got the party got heated up. So, but yes, that's okay. Homes in the hood. We we got this. We gonna help you. Okay. Motivation H. How many came? Motiv. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. How many came? Well, Motivation H, I want you to be there so you can count them with me. Come next time. Let's count them together. Let's count them. I, that's what I want to see. I want everybody to be there with me to, to see it. Okay, Triple Threat said, that was cool, Lev Farmer. Thank you so much for the showcase. That, I thought it was awesome. I loved it because I was like, I ain't about to be playing no crazy old movies again this year. This time, so just start putting people channels on. We could watch other people's channel in the background, right? Now, we was all facing the, the video cam. We watching a movie like we at home eating popcorn. That's a whole nother ball game. But yes, I want to showcase everybody's videos, everybody's channel. Represent. Okay? Uh, Shia Sunshine said, Led had us all, had us call in weeks ago 
to try our solar generators and mine came in handy last week when my power went out. Once it came back on, I recharged you using the panels. There you go. There you go. That's right. Keep it going, she is sunshine. Keep it going. Uh, who all going to be there? Just, uh, just go to it. That's right. Let's just come and find out. That's what I want. Just come and find out. Just come and find out. That's right. Uh, let me see. I appreciate you doing. Thank you. I'm not. I'm not. Josh, how you doing? Say, I appreciate you doing all of these things uh, live like this and doing things together. It adds fuel to the motivation for those who don't have much of a community to do these things with, with God bless. You know what? That's what this is all about. Coming together as a community. You know what? There's a lot of people that came by themselves because they didn't have a community. They didn't have anybody to come with but once they got there you were with family none of us were going to let anything happen to you none of us were going to let anything occur we were our own security and i promise you this i want to speak on several different instances that show how we maintain our own safety Okay, I want to show how we represent it, but right now I don't want to speak on it because I want those people to come forward and give their testimony of pretty much maybe their lives may have been saved by several other Greenhouse Lounge members. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't speak on it and I won't speak on it because I don't know if they want it to be known, but I know for a fact one two particular people's two particular people's lives were at risk and the whole greenhouse lounge showed up and handled it okay i want to say that and everybody that was that was there know exactly what i'm talking about okay and if they were by themselves they may have been hurt but we we all handled that I'm just glad I wasn't even there. And I'm just glad the rest of the Greenhouse Lounge helped those, those members handle their situations because they could have really been seriously injured. So thank you for that. Everybody in the Greenhouse Lounge that held it down and watched their brothers and their sisters back when they were in dire need. Okay. Thank you for that. Um. Let me see. Uh, what was that? So I've told my, uh, I'm not just, I'm not Josh says, I'm not joshing you, got you. I, I see the name now. I've told my wife, she knows I've been waiting to come to one, but circumstances wouldn't allow. So we definitely are aiming to come to this next one. I can't wait to meet you. Uh, I'm not joshing you. I can't wait to meet you. Come on, tell your wife, come on. I understand those circumstances. I understand. You know, we got to do what we got to do, though. That's right. Smile, smile. Say, yes, we came together to enjoy with secure and security. Amen. You know, we were so we was all on lock. You know what I'm talking about, about those situations. OK, so we were all feeling safe. It wasn't nobody's. I'm going to tell you this. Our camp, our whole camp was on lock so much. Nobody was scared to leave their tent. You know why we wasn't scared to leave your tent? Some people left their campsite, went to the store. Some people went out to get something to eat off the campsite. Some people just walked around or rode their bikes around the campsite. But you know what? You wasn't scared somebody was going to break in your tent. You know why? You wasn't scared somebody was going to break on your site because we all knew each other. And we were all together. And we could see each other's campsites. So we all was like, okay, I see triple threat leaving. All right, I'm going to keep an eye on her, her setup. So I'm on one side. Then we got another camper from the Greenhouse Lounge on the other side of triple threat. Okay, so we all watching each other's back. 
we didn't have to be like uh putting all kind of locks and bolts and stuff on your tent and you know zip tying everything up and we we were each other security that's why i want to shut the park down and get everybody as many people as i can get in there so we can all be one unit because when those people come by and videotaping us again i want them to say oh my god it got bigger oh, it's more people this year hey frank look there's more people remember last year oh my goodness i want when they look for the vacancies for the park i want them to feel like wow Ain't no more spaces available. I wonder what's going on. I'm the one I always have to ask that question. I want other people outside of us to look at it and be like, what do you mean is no more vacancies? What's going on? Is some kind of carnival? What's going on? That's what I want. And I want when they finally come see what the heck is going on, they see all of us in our glory. I want them to smell the grills of steel smoking and pots bubbling and food cooking. And I want them to see, look, I want them to see us doing this slide to the left, slide to the right, crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. I want them to see that when they show up. I want them to see us out there. Everybody repping, repping the greenhouse lounge and the YouTube family. That's what I want them to see. I ain't got nothing against nobody, but I want them to see we come together as a positive unit. A positive unit. Positive. And show the world hey, we got this. That's what I want to. That's what I want to show. That's what I want. I, I won't represent it. All right. So uh, let me see. I'm gonna get back in here. Then I'm, I'm gonna try to slide out of here. Okay. Uh, we got. Uh, Natasha Kemp said, "I want to come to Myrtle Beach in September, but I have not one piece of camping equipment." What basics should I invest in? We're going to be talking about that, okay? We're going to be talking about, there's a list underneath here, underneath in the description box with a lot of equipment. But if you need the basic necessities, I'm going to be making a list of basic necessities, okay? And we're going to come up with that. So thank you for that, because that, that's a good question. A lot of people want to come, but they have no idea what they should be bringing. So you ain't ready to pimp my tent yet. You just want to get out here and join the community, and that's what we want to help you do, okay? What's up, uh, David Corey? What's going on, brother? Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm going to try to answer a couple more questions. Uh, so can you smell what the greenhouse lounge is cooking that's right that's what I'm talking about okay all right no more questions so I'm gonna get out of here thank you everybody for stopping by I really wanted to get everybody's um that that attended testimony and i'm gonna try to do a couple of more of these just to try because i really want to hear from those people that were actually there so they can make so they can tell you their point of view because here's the thing you're hearing from my point of view somebody may not have liked it somebody may have been like you know it was fun but that's enough somebody may be like i'm i can't wait to the next one somebody listen out of all of these campsites with all of these people, everybody had a different perspective. Everybody has different videos. Everybody has different pictures. I want to some kind of way bring all that together so the world can see. You can only hear from my perspective. And it's just my perspective. If everybody else chimes in and lets you know, 
that's what people really need to see. They need to hear from y'all. They need to hear from the people that showed up, showed out. That's what they need to hear. So I want to say thank you to all the Greenhouse Lounge members in here. Uh, Killer was in the house. Uh, uh, Triple Threat Firearms was in the house. Um, uh, uh, um, Smile Smiles was in the house giving their testimonies. I want to say thank you. Um, Okay, how can we help with the next event? That is a great question. Okay, on our website, on our on our website, we have a and I hate I hate saying this part. We have a place where people can donate either prizes or to help purchase prizes because what we do during past the mic. We like to give away. Me giving things away online like this, I don't do that anymore. It gets too weird. The people that show up, I can see your face. And I know it's not some dude on the whole other side of the planet trying to scam me. You know, that happened a lot. So that's why I stopped doing the whole giveaway thing online because that got really weird. But now to be able to see people in real life, you're a real human being. It makes me feel good to know that those giveaways that I've been trying to save up, I gave them to real people, real people that connect with the rest of us. So what we're going to be doing, um, if you can go to easilygrowngarden.com, uh, I think she has it set up for uh, the donations of the prizes and stuff like that to help out. Now, a lot of the stuff I do out of the pocket, but that is literally you are giving back to the people. None of that goes to me. That goes straight to the greenhouse lounge members to show up and show out. Okay. That lets us be able to purchase things to give back to you. Okay. Uh, triple threat. Triple said the, the giveaway was amazing and fabulous gear. I did the best I could do. I really did. I did the best I could do. I hope to, for it to even be better. I hope for the giveaway to be bigger and better. But everybody, everybody left with something. Everybody left with something. I want to do it bigger and better every year. Um, right now, we're trying to get sponsors to help sponsor some of the giveaways and some of the gifts. Some of the companies I deal with, I'm uh, talking with them right now. Well, a couple of them I'm talking to right now and trying to get sponsorships so they can help us out with some of the gifts. So I'm doing the best I can do. Um, let me see. Oh, Lady Liz said it's called sponsorship. Okay, it's called sponsorship. And it provides an opportunity to get your business shouted out. Okay, so... That's what we're doing. It it helps you get your business or your channel shouted out uh, with sponsorship. Okay. So we're doing the best we can do, you guys. If, but you know what? I think if we all come together, this is just going to get bigger and better. And again, before I go, gentlemen, start your engines. Gentlemen, start your engines. I'm going to keep asking y'all this. Fellas, is we going to let the lady show us up? Is we going to let the lady show us up again? I'm just asking for a friend. We're going to let the ladies straight up show us up like that. Lady Led and the Greenhouse Lounge ladies had it on lock. They had a whole, they had a whole move, fellas. Fellas, the ladies got something. They did a whole thing. You know, and, and our, our, our gangster prison thing didn't, didn't come to fruition. It just all we had was our prison stands, you know? You know the one, you know the one, like, you know, you 
you bought to get out in about 90 days. That probably would have worked for us fellas if it was about, mm, I don't know, 20 more of us there. But with just having just a few fellas there, it looked like our arms was crossed because we pouting because the ladies were showing us up. So we were like, mm. instead of yeah, we looked like, mm. I don't even want to go anyway. I don't even want to. I don't even want to take no stupid old picture with them or something. I don't even want to take no picture. That's our, our our gangster look. You know, our practice looking hard. You know what I'm saying? Our our b boy stance was messed up because the ladies with this this I don't know. I don't know. They did a prince thing, little squeal. You know. The little red Corvette squeal. I don't know what this was. Fellas, the hands, they did the little, like, curtsy. Oh, they tore us up, man. They tore us up. So I want to know, we going to let them get away with this? We're going to have to plan this out. We can't let Lady Led and the Greenhouse, lane, uh, the Greenhouse Lounge ladies do this to us. We can't let them do this to us, fellas. So I'm going to be holding some secret meetings so we can get our stuff together, okay? We might even have to come with a stomp or something on them, you know, a little, little H-Town stomp on them, okay? It's a couple of dance moves, tear them up a little bit just to show them what we, what we really made of because, boy, they, they tore us up, man. I, we lost that. I'm glad that wasn't part of uh, some sort of competition because we lost, we lost on that one. That we lost on that day. It was a great cloudy, cold day. We we did not win. We did not win. I'm just saying. Oh, we're gonna have to do something, man. We're gonna this is like a talent show or something. We're gonna have to come up with something better than that. Man, our b-boy stands was more like a pout, like a spoiled, spoiled baby boy pout, you know. Ain't even gonna even play with my toy or something. I don't even, even want to play with you no more. You ain't even my friend no more. That's it wasn't no more like you know run DMC rah it wasn't no more of that it wasn't no uh, LL no nah, just we didn't pull that off we didn't pull it off so I, I I implore you gentlemen start your engines because the ladies some kind of way I want to say the ladies. I don't know how they all knew. I, this For the people that don't think ladies is magic, I'm telling you right now, this showed it off. Like they was talking to each other in the, each other's brain. Their mouths wasn't moving. They was just like, like they had antennas and communicating. And it was like, okay, the picture is, is, is coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, ooh. I was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> All the fellas look like, what, what was that? You know, what was this? What? What? Okay, we're gonna take another one, ladies. Five, four. They was like this at first. Five, four, three, two. Oh. And every picture was crispy. They had to keep taking our pictures. Cause we was even me, I'm talking to the brother down here. He talking to me like. They take the pictures of us like, man, okay, you put your leg forward, and then I'm going to do this. What we going to do, I'm, you see, I'm, I got a bunch of pictures that I won't show that us, we all talk to each other like, I don't know. I see my hands on one like, man, I don't know. This whole face right here like, I don't even know what we were saying. I think we were trying to get ourselves together, but everybody back in the 80s used to go to them high school talent shows, right? And it, it was the group's it was the group that showed up and showed out and they ended up winning the trophy, you know, and then, then, and then it was us, you know, that group that was like one dude doing the pop lock and move. He ain't on beat with nobody else. He just like doing his own thing. Like, is he trying to steal the show? I don't know. Man, man, get back in line, get back a step. You see them looking down the line. Cause he ain't pop locking like everybody else. Man, we about to get ready to do the damn dragon snake. You ain't even in line, bro. You know, 
this dude down here like Bobby Brown doing his own thing. He done took his shirt off. We supposed to be wearing uniforms. He done took his shirt off. Like, oh, man, we lost. We lost this. You know, we ain't even doing a roller coaster together or nothing. This dude off on the side doing the Bobby Brown. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, before I go, I gotta let my man in the house. What's up, brother? What's up, man? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see oh, you. Man. man. Yo, we had an awesome time. It was awesome meeting you guys, learning everything I learned, man. And I mean, the, actually, the, the just family environment. I mean, everybody helping each other, looking out for each other. I mean, it was awesome, man. My first man. time, but man, I, I'm hooked. Man, I want to say thank you. As a matter of fact, let me just show you something. I'm going to show you this. Because, man, you got me out of a pickle, man. You got me out of a pickle. Everybody. <laughs> My man showed up. You don't even know what that is, do you? But I'm about to show you. My man showed up. And he said, Everybody one of these. Everybody's like, what is this? He's like, I'm going to show you. Watch this. Man, I, can't, I can't make this up. He came and gave everybody, because it was dark. Right, was right. Dark. He came and gave everybody a USB light. Let me, I'm going to cut it on. I'm going to do this right here for you, too. Right here while we're here. And I'm at zero. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Okay. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. He gave everybody a USB light. Right. Right. <laughs> at night. And as dark as it was, this helped light. I was like, man, what is this? <laughs> and plug them in. I said, "Oh no, a flex, a flexible." Right, lady. right, right. <laughs> you came in and showed out with that brother. I want to say, please give my man a round of applause. Passing stuff out like it was Halloween, man. He was like, "Here, right, here. right." Yeah, you I know? think that's good, man. That's 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 how we build relationships, man. And um, uh, yeah, man. I'm look. I'm trying to find something else for the next one. <laughs> hey. Well, come on, man. Come on. We're ready for you. We're coming in September. We I'm, I'm ready for the next one. Look. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bring it. I'm bringing everything I could possibly possibly bring. I, right. told, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to have to get a bigger trailer. So right, right, right. Trailer, right. But man, yeah, man, it was awesome, man. I mean, that the, the uh, just the whole atmosphere and everything. Like the camp tour was just that. That was the kick of the camp tour, man. <laughs> the tour of the tent shut it down. I thought I loved every part of it, right? The past right. the month under the pavilion and the dinner, and but the the t tour of the tents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had efficiencies, apartments, the whole nine yards. Right. Got to a point, got to a point, y'all. We had to start thinking: Are these tents or are these like condos? Wasn't that you? Wasn't that you? Who was saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to step my game up." I that was me. That was me. I, <laughs> I was just regular camping. I, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, understand the assignment. Right, right. And you know what? I was going around looking at everybody tent. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm slipping. Right, right. <laughs> and you know, we go into everybody tent, and you see mugs with mops and brooms and welcome mats. And right. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm slipping. Right, exactly. Oh, man. That was, it was awesome, man. Again, man, um, like I appreciate everything, man. I learned from everybody out there, man. The smile, smiles was awesome. She helped me out. She came and checked on me at my camp. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what it was about. Right, all right. Never alone. We was all right. together. Right, man. That's September first to the fourth, man. I'm I'm going to uh, make sure I get in them days in tomorrow at work, so I can make. I don't have no issues. <laughs> man, thank you, man. I, and I can't wait to see you, brother. I can't right, wait, man. Right, you. and this is this is our fifty, man. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Just in case you don't know. 
um me and my brother we both our birthdays is uh this year mm-hmm. and we both turning 50 wait right. yours, you september said, yo right. this is your birthday time too right right so I'll be 50 next month. What is this month? I'll be 50 next month. He'll be 50 during the doggone thing. Man, we're going <laughs> to celebrate, celebrate that big 5 right. All right, man. Hey, man, good to see you, man. I um Hopefully, I'll uh, get back on the chat again tomorrow. Good to see you. Once again, I appreciate everything, man. man thank you, man. Thank you for all you did, man. Now, listen. Love the conversation, brother, because you know me and you. That's right, man. It was like, man, talking to you, man. It was like, man, like, oh, he think like I think. Oh, wait, uh, we better go talk to other people because me and you was going to sit down and start chopping it up, man. Right, 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 right. <laughs> My man, thank you, bro. Thank you. No bro. problem, man. Good to see you, man. Talk to you a little later. Yes, sir. All right. All right. By the way, I huh? subscribed to your channel this morning. Okay. I, okay. All right. All right, man. All right, you, man. man. Talk to you. All right. Bye-bye. So, man, listen to me, y'all. Don't even get me. I get I'm I'm getting all emotional all all up in here because you had to be there. You my words don't mean nothing. You just had to be there. That's all I can say. All of the conversations that I had with everybody, man. And then, you know what? All of these beautiful people, a, a young lady even, she came in her wheelchair. Young lady came in her wheelchair to represent the Greenhouse Lounge. That's when I told folks, and I'm always telling people like, they say, I can't do this, I can't do that, and they give excuses of why they can't, and then somebody like her shows up and shows the world that stop making excuses. Stop making excuses for living. We will talk ourselves into an early grave because we are so negative. We always tell ourselves what we cannot do. We're every day. Think about this. Now, I'm being honest with you, and you be honest with yourself. I'm being honest with you. You be honest with yourself. Think about just today alone. How many things that you told yourself that you cannot do versus the things you told yourself you can do? Huh? How many things? Put them on two sides of paper. Be honest with yourself, not me. You ain't you can't lie to me. Lie to yourself. How many times have you told me, oh, I can't pull that off, or oh, I can't pay that, or oh, I can't, I ain't gonna be able to do that, I, I can't do this, I won't be able to do that? How many times you said that? Versus how many times you said, let me get up and do this, I'm about to do this, I'm going to do this right now, let me go get this done. It's always outweighed, the negative is always weighing because we always tell ourselves what we can't do to the point you start believing it. You start believing that you can't accomplish anything. I got people out here talking about some lead. I, I want some land. I want to purchase some land, but I just can't right now because I have two children. Or I can't right now because I'm disabled and I'm on a fixed income. I can, I can, I can, I can't. And I keep telling people, you can find a way. If we kept telling each other that we couldn't do something all the damn time, none of us would be free. None of us. There's a reason why some people are successful, not because they had a was born with a silver spoon in their mouth, not because their parents had money and you didn't, not because, no, no, no. Some people are more successful than others because they refuse to keep saying what they can't damn do. They won't, they won't keep saying it. Because you will talk yourself out of getting uh, finding that one true love, oh, she ain't gonna like me. She ain't gonna care for nothing for me. She like, she like light skinned dude. She don't want me. She don't want to be bothering me. 
you would talk yourself out of your own wife or you would talk yourself out of your own husband trying to do the thinking for a whole nother human being. And you trying to say what you think that they think. You would talk yourself right out of your own existence. And a lot of us to this very day will talk ourselves into an early grave. So when my young lady, my sister showed up in that wheelchair, I just smiled, watch. I crouched down and took a picture with her. And the reason I did that, <clears throat> to show everybody who just watching us, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear what you can't do. I don't want to hear it. I'm not saying you ain't in a bad situation. But I'm telling you, there is a positive way to accomplish everything you need to accomplish. There is a way. Listen, hey, I didn't make that up. The more positive stuff you keep telling yourself, the more positive stuff going to happen for you. The more you say, I'm going to do that. I got to do that. I got to get me one of them. I got to figure out how to get that right there. I got to figure out where that come from. I need that. Once you start doing that... Things just start happening. Things just start happening. Haven't you noticed? Let me tell you something. I got a, I got a brother and a sister, eco neighbor, and Gigi's natural. I'm sure they ain't no different than nobody else when it comes to finances and everything else. Did y'all hear about the drama that they went through over the last year or two? With they one minute they was getting some land, then the people reneged and took the land back, then turn around and now they got to live in an RV, now they living on some friend land and everything was against them. Everything was against them. They got their kids out here in an RV in the middle of nowhere trying to figure, they got chickens, they took the chickens with them. They got in trouble for the chickens. But they said, we ain't getting rid of our damn chickens. We keeping our chickens. We going to figure something out. We going to do this. I watched their journey all freaking year. And I kept being like, God, man, I hope this turned out good. Because they were in a freaking pickle. If you don't understand it, please go watch Eco Neighbor and Gigi's Naturals channel. And you're going to see the look. Look how look how beautiful Gigi now is. Just smile and she all bubbly. And look at Eco Neighbor like, yeah, y'all. In them days, you can read their faces like this is some bull. You could see the stress in their faces. Now, they talking happy, but you know how we do. You know how we cover up like we in a pickle. You can see it in the video, and they take you on this journey with them. The only way they got through that was God and positivity. They didn't get through that. Keep on. You, they couldn't have gotten through it. Keep telling them what. Keep telling each other. We are. Uh, we can't do that. We ain't gonna pull that off. That ain't gonna work. Uh, we gotta figure something else out. I guess we gotta do this. That ain't gonna happen. I don't know. Watch and follow their journey. And I promise you, I wasn't there with them, but I promise you one thing that I do know for sure: their accomplishments did not come by saying what the hell they could not do believe that so i want to say to my young lady and her sisters to show it up with her thank you thank you for coming and representing and showing the world to stop being so negative come and enjoy your brothers and sisters company enjoy another human being's company before the father takes us up off of this rock Get new experiences up under your belt and in your life. And it, it, it will embolden you to take a step out on faith and do something positive away from YouTube, away from us, in your own life, in your own journey. Once you come, that's why I love the tour, the tour of the tent so much, because it gave us all ideas of how to better ourselves. It just, yeah, just for tents, but it works the same way in life. Once all these like-minded people come together with all these different great positive ideas, we can accomplish anything. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be ranting. 
for everybody that was at the camp, they know what that meant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everybody watching. Thank you for everybody that showed up. Thank you for everybody coming and representing all of us to the fullest. Because I'm telling you something. We made us look good. We made us look good. Huh? So I'm going to say that. Damn. We made us look good. All right. Everybody have a wonderful night. Be safe. Stay warm. I love you. Thank you. And good night.